Um, Principal John, uh, Vice Principal Adrian, uh, Dr. Dermot, and Chairperson, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You never know by it, but um, there's three people up here who actually taught me uh, a long time ago, and I was just looking at the looking at those pictures. It's just a reminder to anyone in first, second, third, fourth, whatever year you're in. I had more hair than you had <laughs> when you were that age. So when you get to whatever mid twenties, don't cut it anymore because you're trying to grow back. Um, what can I say? I'm not sure whether I'm here as a student for my academic uh, or a student as a as a player. Um, but I, I do know one recollection I have was when I was in first year and Father Tommy Marr was uh, president of, of Keown's College at the time. Father Flavin was principal uh, and I was out sick for a week or maybe even two weeks. But in the middle of the, the week uh, we had a Leinster College's uh, juvenile hurling final in, in uh, Nolan Park against the Kenny CBS. So, I was out sick with tonsillitis, well that's what I told everyone I had anyway at home. Um, but I got a call, Julie got a call to go in and play in the final and then I was told it is okay uh, if you're off for another week, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> I think that Mr. Feynman was it, maybe even said it. Um, no, he's, he's younger than I am. <laughs> um, well, what can I say, I, I'm in here once or twice every, every week. Um, my dad's go to school, I was more than surprised to see Sean coming up for an award. Uh, and I was more than surprised to see some other Gordon players coming up for awards as well. But I see every week, every week, uh, and if I'm early, which is very rarely, but if I am early, I see students maybe going to a different class or going to the toilet or whatever it is. Uh, and everyone, almost everyone, has a hurl in their hand. Um, when I came here, it was, it was pretty much hurling, hurling, and, and maybe soccer but, and Gaelic football, but small amounts of sport. Uh, what thrills me, and, and everywhere I go, I, I say to people, because we're, we're not always, you know, um, or I'm not always in places where hurling is, is as good as it is here, uh, and I would say to people, well, look, I wasn't given a talent to sing, or I wasn't given a talent to dance, or I wasn't, I tried my best, but I wouldn't uh, even, even, even do it. Um, but what's absolutely fantastic about an evening like this evening, uh, and I didn't realize it until I sat down here, in front was the exceptional talent. And I'm sure it's not just the exceptional talent in Keown's College, even though we will take credit for it tonight, um, but the exceptional talent that's outside of sport. And even though many, many young guys came up here uh, tonight to collect whatever awards or to shake hands or whatever it was, um, are actually duplicated maybe in sport uh, and music and whatever. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. And what I would say to anyone, um, you know, we all have got a talent. Every single person in here has got a talent. Whoever you are, whatever you do. And for me, it was in sport. I did it to the very best of my ability. And then when things get tough, you know, that's what you go back to. And it is a great source. And if it's singing, that's brilliant. If it's dancing, that's brilliant. If it's academic, if it's chess. It's absolutely fantastic. Just do whatever it is to the very best of your ability. And then what I'd say to the person who sits beside that, that young guy, girl, whatever it is, you encourage him. You're a friend. You're going to Kings College, you're from Kilkenny or wherever you're from. You encourage because that's what it's all about. Just because I wasn't given a talent to sing, why should I slag a person off that sings? Because that person is much better than I am. Is that because I have a fear? that I'm not as good or, or what. So I would encourage everyone to, you know, just a little slap on the back to say, well done, I'd love to be as talented as, as what you are in your field. There's a few people who are inspirational. Evan, who came up uh, swan tonight. Uh, I know what it's like to have been not well. Um, fantastic that you've come up here tonight. I hope that everyone and I'm sure they have, give you every support you have. Um, and and uh, while you're going through a very heavy treatment at the moment, I'm sure you are, well, you know what, there's, there's a great road and a great road ahead of you at the end of it, and uh, the very best of luck with the, with the continuation of it. Also, uh, during the year, 
uh, I was very rarely would I be looking at the Late Late Show. Um, not for any other reason, but I mightn't be at home. And uh, on comes a young man from Kilkenny with an inspirational story, Alan Hayes, uh, and was absolutely fantastic on the night. And, and I know that I got a few Facebook messages to see why couldn't we get it. Uh, singing with Garth Brooks, but well, if you keep that up, you'll be much bigger than any Garth Brooks or anyone uh, that will ever come to Ireland. Um, what can I say about my time in Kieran's College? Um, I suppose um, school uniform came in when I was in, I think, second year, and uh, my school uniform fitted me until I left. Um, <laughs> I was a date. It's not funny. Um, I was, um, I was the first, sorry, I wasn't the first, but I was part of the very first group that done transition year, uh, and it might amuse people, uh, Tommy Lanigan, I think, was head of it at that time, and it might amuse people that our first work experience was we fenced the college farm. <laughs> <laughs> and I know because of our fencing, I think they so, might have sold it afterwards and made it twice as much because of the way it did. Um, so I, I had a, you know, a, a great time uh, when I was in school, um, when I went, uh, when I was there. Um, but I, I do know that, I do know that, you know, even for my own two lads, the, the, it's, it's an enjoyable thing. Um, I think that the variety of activities that go on in school. Uh, is much greater now. Not that we, in our time it was just good. I think it's much greater now. But I think on behalf of parents, and you know, although it's a it's it's a job in some ways, and in, in so many ways it is it is work. But in so many different ways, uh, we ha we are so grateful, absolutely so grateful to the teachers, uh, particularly Cairns College, but primary school teachers, uh, teachers wherever they are. We are so grateful, particularly for the amount of time that's given outside of school. And with, with that, I mean, the discipline, um, the enthusiasm, education, obviously we we'll want to take that for, for granted if we can. But I would like to, as a parent, I'd like to give all the, 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 the uh, teachers in St. Kieran's College a great round of applause for their work and their achievements. Uh, and that's what has brought most of the people up here, even though they're talented coming up here, it's actually been brought out on them by, by the, the fantastic teachers that we have in Cairns College. So please thank you. Now, I'm sure there's just two little stories I'd like to tell um, before I go, and I'm sure I've probably lasted too long here, have I? Am I okay? Okay. Um, when you travel around the country, you, you hear so many different accents, and, and I'm very lucky, I've travelled a lot, and then out, outside, of, um, outside of the country. But last year I was travelling down the east coast of Ireland, and I had Radio 1 on in, in the car. And as I came over, I had to come over Mount Leinster, and as I came over Mount Leinster, Radio 1 switched to Radio Kilkenny. And one of my great friends for many, 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 many years, Johnny Barry, was on Radio Kilkenny. Uh, and it's slightly different because it went from uh, Radio 1, which was about, I don't know, half 11 at night, it went from Radio 1 to Johnny. And Johnny talked like that because he missed a few teeth. So anyway, he's, he's going along anyway, and uh, he said, uh, yeah, he said, we were requesting here for Mary, who was 111 in hospital. And she'd love to hear a bit of Dan O'Donnell. So I was on the very tip of Mount Leinster, and this was pretty impressive. And he comes back after Daniel, Daniel O'Donnell said, I hate it. He said, I think we made a bit of a mistake. That Mary, who is ill in hospital. <laughs> I was, I've been very lucky, very, very fortunate throughout my career that I've met a lot of good friends, uh, a lot of great friends, and you know, obviously Kilkenny. But one of my best friends, which many people would uh, 
would be surprised with is Babs Keating. And Babs and I go back a good while, um, many, many years. But Babs had just come in over Tipperary, I think in about 1986 or 1987, I can't remember when it was. Uh, I won't slag any Tipperary people, but they hadn't won anything since 1971 at the time. <laughs> but anyway, Babs had just come over in, in over. And when, when I started with the Kenny, with the senior team, um, at that time, the National League, four matches of the National League were played in o October and November, and then the rest of it was played afterwards from February onwards. But at that time, you didn't really train, you didn't really do anything until later on in the championship. <laughs> So Babs comes in over tip, they're playing Cork in Parky Keefe, he doesn't know the players, the players don't really know him. Now, at that, most, most teams always had a guinea pig, and I'm sure Cairns College had the odd guy who's a character on the team, or some fellow who steps out of line, or whatever it is. Uh, and on that team, Tipperary had a guy called Joe Hayes, who was a great character. Now, no matter how good Joe was playing, if Tip were playing bad, Joe would be whipped off. The national anthem had just finished one day when some wizards in the crowd said, take off Joe Hayes. <laughs> anyway, they're playing Cork in Cork and Keeve, first match of the league in October. Babs doesn't know the players, the players don't know Babs. Cork are giving Tip all you know, a merciful hiding at half time, there's 10 points in it. He goes in, he's looking around at everyone. Now I can't see anyone here because the lights are shining, so I can't see anyone. But Babs is looking around, lads have their heads in their hands, they don't know what he's going to say, they're ashamed of themselves, they're getting hammered. He's looking around and he, he's given out and he lets a few shouts and he lets a few roars and he tells them how bad they are and how they've never heard for tip. And obviously this is a pretty good spit he's given and he's looking at lads and they're, they're looking at him and he's shouting and roaring and he decides, who's going to win this match? So everyone shouts, Tipperary Babs. So Babs is delighted that you know, he's getting a bit of a response from him and he's going away and he has a hurl in his hand and he busts it up the table, it breaks all over the place. He's shouting and roaring, he's shouting about the enemy, he's giving out to his own players, he's giving out about Cork, he's giving out about that they're no good. And he decides that the fellas are on their feet now and they're looking at Babs and he decides to have another go and he says, That's, who's going to win this match? And they all shout, Tipperary Babs. So Babs is literally holding him like that. They're busting to get out the door to beat, to beat uh, Cork in this match. They're 10 points down. Literally holding him. He's walking back. He's stepping back as they're trying to get, get out the door. And he decides he'll have one more go. And he's looking at Joe straight in the face. Joe, who's going to win this bloody match? Which is Babs. Looks awful like Cork at the moment. So. <laughs> I just to, to finish up, <laughs> I'm, that's actually a true story. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, I'm honoured to be here. Um, as I say, I'm often in Kieran's College. When I got the, the, the call from Neil, uh, I, was, I was delighted. I wasn't sure whether I was getting an award, presenting an award, uh, what it was, but I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. And as I say, you know, to any young people here, we all have got talent, every one of us, even older people. We, I'm still trying to hurl, but we all have got talents. Get out there and use them, no matter what it is. Uh, and once you go out every day and do your best, no one can ask questions. The only one can ask a question is yourself. And I heard Brian Cody talking uh, many times, but I heard him talking recently, and he says, what he said was, you know, you might think you give your best, but there's always that little bit more, and I can fully concur with that. Every day you go out, give it absolutely everything, no matter what it is, but there's always that little bit more you can give. Thanks very much. <laughs>